It's time for another Behind the Message with Pastor Brad. Pastor Brad, mm-hmm. we're entering into a new year, 2021. So I wanted to ask you, what is your hope for the people of Anthem yeah. as we enter into 2021? Well, I think, first of all, I hope that 2021 is a little different than 2020. <laughs> is that okay? Is that okay for me to say? But on a serious level, I think we've been stripped back of a lot of things in 2020, a lot mm-hmm. of our rhythms of life, where we like to eat, all the things yeah. that we like stripped back this year. So I'm hoping from a spiritual perspective, we're ready to build mm-hmm. back the right foundation. And so yes. here's what I'm praying for us as a church body here in 2021. That is that we will build the right foundation again together in our spiritual life, our pursuit of God. And I'm praying that I would have a deeper relationship with God. I mean, I pray that every year, but I'm really praying that this year that it'll be deeper, Mm. uh, that I'll be more in touch with his will and his purposes for me. And then that would be the case for all of us as a church. And so even our teaching series, where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do this year, I'm praying just for incredible spiritual growth and depth of relationship with God Mm. to happen for every single one of us. I love that. Well, you touched on our series. So we're starting a new series Mm -hmm. called Beginnings Mm -hmm. as we start this new year. So what should we expect? What is that gonna be about? So the series we're starting right now called Beginnings, we're gonna walk through Genesis 1 Mm. through 11. We're gonna go chapter by chapter, go all the way from creation to the Tower of Babel, Noah, the fall, Cain and Abel, do all these chapters in between for a very important purpose. We're at the beginning of a new year. Mm -hmm. We're laying a new foundation. We wanna go back Mm -hmm. to think about what foundation did God lay for us so that we can figure out what does it look like for us to be made in his image and live out the purposes he has for every one of us. So what people can expect is we're going to go through the verses of Genesis 1 through 11. Maybe you've read them before, maybe you haven't. We're going to explain them, help you understand what they meant then, and help you understand what the implications are for you, even in your personal life right now. I think that's so good. I think some people might ask, like, why is this still relevant? And what would you say, why is it important to Mm -hmm. rewind to the Mm -hmm. very beginning? Well, sometimes you don't know who you are until you go back to the beginning. Isn't that true? Sometimes I don't know where I've been, who I am, how I got here, if I don't know how I got here to the very beginning. So we've got to rewind to go back to the beginning. So what does that mean from a faith perspective? We've got to rewind all the way back to who God is from the very beginning, what he did, what he set in motion, so we can figure out, okay, how did we get here? And what does that that mean for life? And so Mm. the reality is sometimes we have to rewind. Our story, where we were born, our hometowns, the parents we came from, and as Christians to rewind all the way back to the beginning where God made us in his image on purpose. And so by rewinding, I'm hoping it helps us to step forward into the future that God has for every single one of us. Man, that's going to be so great. Well, we hope that all of you will join us for the next seven weeks as we enter into this series called Beginnings. Great job, You too. I'm like, yes. Man, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to beginning. It's great. Yeah. It's trying to film us to get something else. No, I'm not doing anything silly this time.